So here we have the origin and insertion of your posterior forearm, the superficial group, which are your extensors. So first off, we have um, brachial radialis, number 84 right here. And um, it originates from the lateral border of the distal end of the humerus, and it inserts superior to the stylar process of your radius. Next, we have extensor carpi radialis longus, and um, that's this one right here, number 85. That's your lateral supracondylar ridge of your humerus, and it inserts onto the base of your second metacarpal, number 85 right there. Next, we have extensor carpi radialis brevis, so brevis means short, so it's underneath the longus. That's this one right here. The numbers all rubbed off. So that's your lateral epicondyle of your humerus. And that inserts onto the base of your third metacarpal, which is this one right there, number 86. Next, next three muscles all come from the lateral epicondyle of your radius. So 87, 88, 88. And 89. So 87 is your um, extensor digitorum, so lateral epicondyle, and it inserts onto the middle and distal phalanges of your um, fingers, or two, three, four, five. Now we're missing the phalanges, so you can't see them on this model. Next is your extensor digiti minimi, so number 88, lateral epicondyle once again, and it inserts onto the tendon of your. Um, fifth phalange but again no uh, phalange on this model next we have um, extensor carpi ulnaris number 89 right here and that's your lateral um, epicondyle of your humerus as well as the posterior border of your ulna but not tagged on this model um, and uh, inserts onto the base of your fifth metacarpal which is Right here and lastly we have Anconius that's number 82 once again lateral epicondyle and um, it inserts onto the olecranon of your ulna right here and um, those are the origin insertion of your posterior forearm